So in a crisis, you know, there's a few things. One, it, it is being prepared in advance. So I think um, for a disaster, you know, organizations thinking about how would I respond to a disaster? How do I contact my board? How would my customers find me? Um, how would I know if my staff is okay? So there are some things like that that um, groups should really have plans for in doing that. But in serving the community, I think we've learned a few things. One is really focus on the customer and thinking about what is the customer need at that point. So whether it's disaster or foreclosure, um, if I'm in the crisis right now, I might not be prepared to think about what is my housing option nine months from now. So you kind of have to meet the customer where they are. And some of that um, means, so I, I think a little differently about how I'm serving them, what, what tools I bring to the table. It also means that um, a nonprofit group really has to triage. And that can be hard because those of us who do mission-related work, we want to serve everybody all the time as good as we can. And um, I think we learned in the foreclosure crisis that you have to say, wait, where are you in the process? Here's what you can go back and do so that I can use our time together more efficiently. Similarly, in a disaster, if you know what you need is emergency housing, um, talking about mold remediation isn't really the the thing for our conversation that day. So it's it's focused on you know the path through the crisis and how are you customer focused. And then I think the third thing is really using technology well, and that's something we can all do in advance and try to to make sure that. Um, organizations have the tools that let them scale up. Because if I'm used to serving 30 customers a month and I'm suddenly serving 300 in a week, I, can't, I literally cannot do that without some good technology tools.